Okay, I know I'm the only one that's upset about this, but it just irks me whenever I do a Rush Limited Summon. Before I get into it, though, I actually really like the change that they've made to Rush Limited or Ultra Space Time Rush. The fact that you now get more tickets makes Ultra Space Time Rush a little bit less of a chore. Before, it was kind of just, yeah, I guess I'll do this for my one fucking multi, uh, my two multis, uh, you know, next time. But now that I get more tickets, it's less of a chore. <laughs> but when it comes to the actual summon itself, as you know, it's guaranteed sparking. Am I the only one who feels like the animation you get should have no bearing on your 10th unit? Your 10th unit will be a sparking unit no matter what animation you get. So I feel like the animation itself should only affect the nine units in front of that. So if I get a guaranteed sparking animation, like say General Tao flies across my screen, I should be guaranteed a sparking unit within those first nine slots, plus the sparking that I get in the 10th slot. I should be able to get like a complete shit animation that gives me, you know, nine heroes and one sparking. And that, like, an animation that would normally give you 10 uh, hero units would now give you 9 heroes and a sparking. I don't know. I just, I feel, I really do feel like uh, the animation should only affect the first 9 slots. Because, like I said, it's, you're, the last slots are guaranteed sparking anyway. The, no matter what animation you get. Voice crack, wow. No matter what animation you get. Uh, it's going to be a guaranteed sparking. Now, obviously, when it comes to, uh, you know, single summons, that's a bit different. But the way I would do it is if you got a guaranteed sparking animation, then that basically guarantees you something from the banner. And then, obviously, Bardock and Trunks uh, mean, you know, basically new unit. Maybe make Super Saiyan 3 also mean that, but at the same time, I'll probably not. Because uh, you want to be consistent with the animations, unlike fucking Dokkan. <laughs> it's the one thing I'll say about, uh, about Dokkan. Their animations are completely inconsistent. What means LR in one banner means fuck all in another banner. <laughs> it's ridiculous, but I don't know. That's just how I feel. Let me know how you guys feel about it. At the end of the day, they're, you know, free multis. I can't really complain too much about it. I do still think that Rush Limited is a dumb banner. But the fact that it's free, I can't complain too much. The main problem is you will never pull the Legends Limited units. Ever. At 0.02%. You will never pull these units. These units are just here to piss you off. That is their sole purpose for existing on this banner. Just to piss you off. But aside from that, the banner's not all bad. I really wish the Master Pack units weren't on the fucking thing. Because I don't need any units that are on the Master Packs to be on this too. This, this banner should have been exclusive for units that weren't on UST. Since Master Pack was for units that are on UST, Rush Limited should have been uh, for units that weren't on UST. I don't know. Little random thoughts that I had the other day while doing my multis. And if you're curious, uh, I pulled fuck all. I got uh, Sparking Videl and I don't even remember what the first one was. So, was, yeah, it was that bad. But, I don't know. Like I said, random thoughts. Let me know what you guys think. Peace.